Imagine a future where you live a life filled with calmness, even in the most stressful moments. You wake up each day feeling strong and ready to face whatever comes your way. Now, let's bring that vision to the present as you watch this video. Picture yourself mastering the art of staying composed in stressful situations. Stoic philosophy teaches us that we have the power to shape our own responses to life's challenges. By adopting these powerful and simple Stoic steps, you can cultivate resilience and peace just as the Stoics believed. As the ancient philosopher Epictetus wisely said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. So let's dive into these steps and remember, small changes today can lead to a more serene tomorrow. Let's begin. First and foremost, thank you for choosing this video from the myriad of options out there. It's a real honor to have you with us. As we start, I invite you to make a small commitment to yourself and to this journey. Stay focused and present throughout our exploration. Remember, you're not just another viewer. You bring something unique to this experience. Now, let's make the most of our time together, staying attentive and open to what unfolds. On Cultivate, embrace simplicity in life. Life can be complicated, but many of those complications are self-imposed. Embracing simplicity means focusing on what's truly important and letting go of the rest. It's about finding joy in the simple things, a walk in the park, a quiet moment with a book, a conversation with a friend. Start by decluttering, not just your physical space, but your mental space too. What obligations, activities or thoughts are not serving you? Let them go. Focus on what adds value to your life. This simplification reduces stress and brings clarity to what's truly important. A simple, consistent routine can bring a sense of peace and stability. It doesn't have to be rigid, but having a general structure for your day can help keep stress at bay. It ensures that the important things, work, rest, relationships, get the attention they deserve. Simplicity is about finding contentment in the present moment. It's recognizing that you don't need more to be happy. You just need to appreciate what you have. This doesn't mean you don't strive for more, but you do so from a place of contentment, not a place of lacking. As you embrace simplicity, you'll find that life becomes more peaceful, more joyful, and surprisingly, more fulfilling. To sum up, embracing Stoicism can provide valuable guidance for navigating challenging moments in your life. By applying Stoic principles like simplicity, self-reliance, and mindfulness, you can cultivate a sense of calm, wisdom, and virtue in the face of stress and adversity. Two, Nurture healthy relationships. Humans are social creatures. Our relationships with others significantly impact our well-being. But not all relationships are created equal. Healthy relationships, those built on mutual respect, understanding and support, are vital. They provide comfort in stressful times and joy in good times. Focus on building strong, positive relationships this means listening, really listening to others. It means showing empathy and understanding. It also means setting boundaries and respecting the boundaries of others. Healthy relationships are a two-way street. Be aware of toxic relationships. Those that drain you, bring constant negativity or disrespect your boundaries. These relationships can significantly increase stress and unhappiness. It's okay to distance yourself from these relationships. Your well-being must come first. Like a garden, relationships need to be nurtured. Regular check-ins, quality time together, and showing appreciation are all important. Remember, it's not about the number of friends you have, but the quality of those relationships. 
A few close, healthy relationships are far more valuable than numerous superficial ones. 3. Seek growth, not perfection. Perfection is a trap. It's an impossible standard that leads to stress and disappointment. Instead, focus on growth, on learning, improving and moving forward. This doesn't mean you don't strive to do your best, but you do it with the understanding that perfection is not the goal. Progress is. Look for opportunities to grow every day. Maybe it's trying a new way to solve a problem at work or learning to cook a new dish. Growth can be found in the big challenges and the small ones. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone and embracing the unknown. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a win. Celebrated these moments. Finished a difficult task? Take a moment to appreciate your effort. Learned from a mistake? That's growth. Celebrate it. These small celebrations build a mindset of progress and resilience. Remember, growth is a journey, not a destination. There's always something new to learn, a way to improve. This journey is not about reaching a final state of perfection, but about continuously evolving and adapting. As you embrace this mindset, you'll find that stress and pressure decrease replaced by a sense of ongoing accomplishment and fulfillment. 4. Cultivate mindful moments. Have you ever noticed how often your mind is anywhere but here? You might be at work, but your thoughts are on the weekend. Or you're with family, but your mind is at work. It's a common struggle. Being present truly in the moment is a powerful way to reduce stress and live more stoically. It's about fully engaging with the here and now, not lost in the past or worrying about the future. You don't need anything special to practice mindfulness. Start with your senses. What do you see, hear, smell, feel and taste right now? Engaging your senses brings you back to the present. Try this when you eat a meal, take a walk, or even during a conversation. Fully immerse yourself in the experience. When you're fully present, stress and worries fade away. You're not fretting about tomorrow or regretting yesterday. You're just here, in this moment. This focus brings clarity and calmness. It allows you to handle situations with a level head and a clear mind. As Seneca said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Like anything, mindfulness takes practice. Try setting reminders throughout the day to pause and check in with yourself. Are you fully present? What are you thinking and feeling? This regular practice gradually shifts your default state to one of greater presence and calm. 5. Embrace change as a constant. Everything changes. Seasons, trends, technology, people. It's the one constant in life. Resisting change is like trying to hold back the ocean. It's exhausting and futile. Embracing change, on the other hand, is empowering. It means you're adaptable, flexible and resilient. It's not about liking every change, but about not letting the fear of change control you. Building on this idea, remember, when something changes, take a moment to assess it. What's new? What's different? What's gone? Then, ask yourself how you can adapt. Maybe it's learning a new skill for a job change, or finding new ways to connect in a long-distance relationship. Adaptation is your superpower. In the midst of these changes, it's important to realize that even though everything around you is constantly changing, you can find stability within yourself. Your core values, your goals, your passions, these things remain constant. They're your anchor in the ever-changing sea of life. When everything around you is in flux, come back to these constants. They'll guide you through. With this in mind, it's essential to understand that you can't predict the future, but you can prepare for it. Keep learning, keep growing, Keep challenging yourself. 
the more you do this, the better equipped you'll be to handle whatever changes come your way. Remember, change is not your enemy. It's an opportunity to grow, to evolve, to become the best version of yourself. 6. These constants, they'll guide you through. With this in mind, it's essential to understand that you can't predict the future, but you can prepare for it. Keep learning, keep growing, keep challenging yourself. The more you do this, the better equipped you'll be to handle whatever changes come your way. Remember, change is not your enemy. It's an opportunity to grow, to evolve, to become the best version of yourself. 6. Develop compassion for yourself and others. Compassion is about understanding and kindness. It's recognizing that everyone, including you, is doing their best with what they have. It's easy to be hard on yourself or others when things go wrong, but what if, instead, you offered understanding? What if you treated yourself and others with the same kindness you'd show a good friend? Be kind to yourself. When you make a mistake, instead of beating yourself up, ask, what can I learn from this? Treat yourself with the same compassion you'd offer someone you care about. Remember, being kind to yourself isn't selfish. It's necessary. You can't pour from an empty cup. Everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Keep this in mind when you interact with others. That rude cashier? Maybe they're going through a tough time. Your friend who cancelled plans last minute? Perhaps they're overwhelmed. Approach these situations with understanding and kindness. As Marcus Aurelius said, be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. Ultimately, Compassion makes the world a better place. It starts with you and ripples out. It improves your relationships, reduces stress, and brings a sense of peace. It's not always easy, but it's always worth it. In a world that often feels harsh and unkind, be a beacon of compassion and watch as it transforms not just your life, but also the lives of those around you. 7 self-awareness. Have you ever stopped to listen to your own thoughts? I mean, really listen. It's fascinating to realize that there's a constant conversation happening inside your head. Sometimes this internal dialogue is calm, and other times it's like a whirlwind. Importantly, this inner dialogue shapes your emotions, your decisions, and ultimately your life. Self-awareness is about tuning into this conversation, about understanding why you feel what you feel and think what you think. This understanding is, without a doubt, a game-changer. Now, picture yourself as two people. One is the thinker, the one who gets angry, upset or excited. The other, quite intriguingly, is the observer, the part of you that watches everything without judgment. This observer is your inner stoic. When you find yourself in a tough spot, switch to being the observer. Watch your reactions without getting swept away by them. It's crucial to understand that it's not about suppressing your emotions. Rather, it's about understanding them without being controlled by them. Every time you feel a strong emotion, take a moment pause and ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? Getting to the root cause is essential. This reflection helps you respond, not just react. As Marcus Aurelius wisely said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This philosophy isn't about ignoring your emotions. It's about not letting them hijack your peace. Start with the small, daily annoyances. Maybe it's a slow internet connection or a long line at the coffee shop. Observe your irritation, understand it, then let it go. Gradually, you'll build the strength to apply this to bigger challenges. Remember, self-awareness is like a muscle. The more you use it, 
the stronger it gets. And as it strengthens, so does your ability to remain calm and collected, no matter what life throws at you. 8. Foster resilience through adversity. Life's like an unpredictable game of dodgeball. Sometimes you catch the ball, other times it hits you square in the face. Imagine spilling your morning coffee or getting drenched by a surprise downpour. Annoying, right? But what about the big league curvables, losing your job, a heart-wrenching breakup, or failing at something you've given your all? In these gut-punch moments, it's normal to feel knocked down. But what if we flipped the script? What if we saw these challenges not as cruel jokes of fate, but as gritty personal trainers for our inner strength? Resilience isn't about sidestepping life's punches. It's about learning how to roll with them. Every hurdle you leap over, every no you push past, is like a rep in the gym for your resilience muscles. This isn't about playing tough or shrugging off the pain. It's about staring down the barrel of your struggles and declaring, you won't beat me. Each challenge, no matter how bitter, comes with a hidden lesson. Got passed over for that job. Maybe it's a masterclass in determination or a signpost to a path more in sync with your true calling. Relationship troubles. Perhaps it's a seminar in effective communication or self-discovery. The trick is to switch from why is this happening to me? To what can I learn from this? This mindset doesn't just build fortitude, it cultivates wisdom. As the wise Seneca once said, difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Your trials aren't just hurdles, they're your most honest mentors. Start by revisiting your own battle scars. Reflect on those moments. How did you pull through? What inner strengths did you unearth? Arm yourself with these insights for the next round. When you face a new challenge, replay your victories. This isn't a pep talk. It's a proven track record of your resilience. Remember, resilience isn't a birthright. It's a craft, honed through the fires of adversity. Every challenge is your chance to level up this skill. By mastering self-awareness and resilience, you're not just weathering life's storms, you're learning to navigate them with finesse. These aren't just fancy theories. They're down-to-earth, practical tactics you can start using today. As you do, you'll evolve, not just into someone who keeps their cool in a crisis, but into a wiser, stronger version of yourself, equipped to take on whatever life throws at you. 9. Embrace the power of perspective. Life often feels like a roller coaster, doesn't it? One moment you're up, the next you're down. In the midst of this chaos, it's easy to get caught up. However, what if I told you that you have a secret weapon at your disposal? This weapon is your perspective. How you view what happens around you can transform your entire experience. Remember, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This is the core of Stoicism. Now imagine your mind as a mirror. It reflects everything, the good, the bad, the ugly. But here's the key point. The mirror doesn't have to react. It simply shows what's in front of it. Similarly, you can be like that mirror. When something stressful happens, take a step back. Look at it as if you're just an observer not getting tangled up in it. This detachment isn't about not caring. Rather, it's about maintaining your peace amidst the storm. Every day you're faced with choices. Whether it's how you respond to a rude comment, deal with a traffic jam, or handle a work crisis, these moments are your opportunities to practice stoicism. You can't control what others do or what life throws at you, but you can control your reaction. This is where your true power lies. As Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Embrace this. Choose calm over chaos, understanding over anger. Let's start with a simple step. 
The next time something minor irritates you, pause. Take a deep breath. Then ask yourself, is getting upset worth my peace? Visualize yourself responding calmly and rationally. With practice, this approach becomes your go-to response, even in bigger challenges. Remember, changing your perspective isn't about denying your feelings. Rather, it's about managing them in a way that keeps you in control and at peace. This shift in perspective is a powerful tool in your Stoic toolkit. Use it wisely and watch as your world transforms, not because the world itself has changed, but because you have. 10. Every problem. It's about sifting through the mess and finding the glint of gold, that tiny thing that's going right, even when the world seems topsy-turvy. And think about it. You're late and the bus just zoomed past. Sure, it's a nuisance, but hey, now you've got a few unexpected moments under the open sky. Take a deep breath. Enjoy it. Stained your favorite shirt? It's a bummer but also a nudge to mix up your wardrobe. Maybe that mech shirt in the back of your closet is actually your next favorite. The trick? Start or end your day by pinpointing three small joys. A joke shared with a friend, the way the sun hit the buildings in the morning, an unexpectedly good sandwich, whatever floats your boat. This isn't about ignoring life's challenges. It's about balancing the scales, so you're not only weighed down by the tough stuff. Sure, when you're neck deep in a bad day, gratitude can seem like a distant fairy tale. But that's exactly when it's a game changer. Gridlocked in traffic. It's a solo concert in your car waiting to happen. Overwhelmed at work. You're in the forge, getting stronger and sharper. Remember what Epictetus said about wisdom. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Remember, it may take time and effort, but Stoicism is not about perfection. It's about continuous progress toward a more composed and fulfilling life. So, why not start today? and work towards mastering the art of stoicism in stressful situations. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If this content was rewarding for your life, I'll leave two videos here that you might be interested in watching too. Until next time, stay stoic.